Lesson 10.1a, Writing Algebraic Expressions. A variable is a symbol or letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount. A variable can represent a range of values, and its value can differ from one equation to the next. Here we have 2 plus x equals 5. The x is taking the place of an unknown amount. It would have to equal 3 in order for this to be 5. We can think of it as 2 plus blank equals 5. The x is taking the place of the blank. Here we have 7 minus x is equal to 6. Well, x must be equal to 1 in this equation. It's like 7 minus blank equals 6. It's just taking the place of the unknown amount. In this equation, it had to equal 3, but in this one, it had to equal 1 in order for these to be true. An algebraic expression is an expression that contains one or more variables and may also contain operation symbols such as plus or minus. Here we have 18 minus y. Here we have x minus y. We have two variables. Here we just have an x. Here we have 7 plus x raised to the second power, or x plus y, or 4n. And we'll talk about what this means in a second. A constant is a specific number whose value doesn't change. The number's value stays the same. It stays constant. Here we have 25 plus x. The 25 is our constant, and the x is our variable. When we were younger, we used a big x to show multiplication. Well, in algebraic expressions, we don't use that big x for multiplication because it could be confused for the variable x. We usually don't use an obelisk, that's the division symbol, for division. Division is usually written with a vinculum, that's the fraction bar, as a fraction. So 12 over x with the fraction bar is 12 divided by x. So if we had a 5 with a big X and then an X, that's too confusing. We would write 5 with a dot X to show 5 times X, or X times 5. We can multiply in any order. Or the 5 would be directly next to the X. When a variable is directly next to a number, it means multiplication. We can do this to show multiplying 5 by X. When writing an algebraic expression from a phrase or a word problem, we can use clue words to help us know which operation to use. For addition, we could see added to plus sum more than or increased by. For subtraction, we could see subtracted from minus difference less than decreased by. For multiplication, we might see times multiplied by, product of, groups of, or fraction of. And for division, we could see divided by or divided into, quotient or ratio of, and these are just some of the clue words we might see. We can write each phrase as an algebraic expression. If we see the sum of two and a number, well, sum is telling us addition. That's the answer for an addition problem. The sum of two and a number, we could put two plus x, or two plus n, or two plus y, using any variable there for that number we don't know. Five subtracted from x, it's being subtracted from the x, so we would have x minus five. The product of a number and four would be n times four, or four n, right next to each other to show multiplication. If we see the quotient of y and 24, the y would be the numerator and the 24 would be the denominator. And we can write a phrase for each expression. So if we're given an expression, we can write a phrase for it. If we see 6x, it means 6 times some number x. Or it could mean the product of 6 and x. If we saw 12 over n, it means 12 divided by n, or the quotient of 12 and n. If we saw x minus 2 fifths, it could mean x minus 2 fifths, or it could mean a number minus the quotient of 2 and 5. Here we have x plus y, that's what it means, some number x plus some number y, or it could, we could write it as 
the sum of x and y. So remember, the value of a constant does not change. Its value stays constant. It stays the same. The value of a variable can be different. It can vary. See? Variable. Vary. From one problem to the next, or can represent a range of values as a solution. If we saw x minus y is equal to 2, well, the va values for x and y can be any of these. They can vary because they'll all make the equation true. If x is equal to 3, then y is equal to 1. That'll equal 2. And if x is equal to 4, well, then y would have to be equal to 2. Then it would equal 2. If x was equal to 5, then y would have to be equal to 3 for it to be 2. And if x was 6, y would have to be 4. And if x was 7, y would have to be 5. So its value varies depending on the value of y, and the value of y varies depending on the value of x. But it could be any one of these to equal 2. x, y, n, a, and b are often used as variables in algebraic expressions. And we can use the first letter of a group or object as a variable to keep track of what's happening. If we see that Tala saw three more sparrows than cardinals, we could write an algebraic expression using S for sparrows and C for cardinals. There's three more sparrows than cardinals. That means whatever the number of cardinals are, if we add three to it, that's going to be the number of sparrows because sparrows is three more than cardinals. The values for C and S can vary. If she saw zero cardinals, well, three more would be three sparrows. If she saw one cardinal, well then the sparrows would be four. If she saw two cardinals, well then the sparrows would be five, and so on. The number of cardinals plus three is equal to the number of sparrows she saw. We finished this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part. We're going to model algebraic expressions and compare expressions using models. So just remember, a variable is just a symbol or letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.